Hello and welcome. The purpose of this short video is to demonstrate the functionality of LabTech's integration with WebRoot. Before we start, a prerequisite for full understanding of certain terminology used throughout this demonstration includes a basic knowledge of both LabTech and WebRoot. This demonstration is going to focus on five specific functions. WebRoot activation, the plugin installation, global site manager, general plugin usage, and the WebRoot custom dashboard. So let's get started. For a seamless integration of WebRoot into the LabTech Control Center, you'll first need to activate the Global Site Manager. Let's begin with a demonstration on how WebRoot is activated. From the welcome email you have received from LabTech, you will use the one-time URL that is included with your preset username, along with a one-time password. You will enter these, along with your product key code, to initialize the console for first use. And from here, you will log into the console directly by using admin credentials that you have established. Moving on, next we will demonstrate how you install the WebRoot plugin. Please note that in order to install the plugin, you must be set up as a super admin. To install the plugin, you will download it from the link provided in the instruction PDF sent to you in the welcome email. Once downloaded and unzipped, you can run the installer from your workstation or directly from the LabTech server. For LabTech cloud users, you can simply run the installer from your local workstation. Once you run the EXE, you will be asked to proceed with the install by clicking Next. At this screen, you will be asked to enter your LabTech admin credentials as well as the URL to access the LabTech Control Center. This will allow our installer to apply the plugin to the LabTech console. Once the installation completes in just a few moments, you will be asked to restart the LabTech database agent. It may also be necessary to close and reopen the LabTech Control Center to have all of our visual elements load completely. Now, let's take a look at LabTech's integration with WebRoot's GSM. GSM stands for Global Site Manager, and it offers management console functionality for licensing and administrative client access. Global Site Manager is designed for service providers who need the hierarchical licensing structure, allowing them to view multiple clients or locations at the same time. Some key GSM features include the ability for service providers to provision child key codes within their parent key that are unique to their individual clients. It also offers hierarchical management, allowing service providers to view multiple clients or locations at the same time. And lastly, it gives service providers the ability to give admin access to clients without the risk of sharing other clients' data. The configuration of the WebRoot Global Site Manager integration with LabTech is very straightforward. This is a very purpose-filled management interface that was designed with our partners in mind. It's hierarchical, which will help you scale the management of many clients and agents much more easily by allowing you to segment customers into distinct, logically separate environments, but while also retaining global policy management. This means that you can have excellent organization of your clients and agents while also saving time by using a common policy framework. Now that we are familiar with how to set up and configure the integration, let's take a few minutes to show some general functionality of the plugin. Once the WebRoot plugin installation is complete, you will now have several important visual indicators. The first of these is the WebRoot Global Dashboard. This is a look across all clients and all agents and all WebRoot installed endpoints. Next, we'll look at the Client screen. Open the Client screen, click on a client, and you'll now have an additional WebRoot tab. This tab allows you to input group and site key codes, as well as enable auto-deployment. It also provides critical status information, such as threat history and agent versions currently installed. Moving to the detailed view, this is now a client-specific dashboard looking at just those agents installed to this client. It's also possible to access the WebRoot Admin Console directly from inside LabTech. This is simply a browser-controlled option that gives you much more convenient access to the WebRoot Management Interface. And finally, we'll look at the computer screen. At the computer screen, you'll have virus scanner status, and also you'll notice a brand new WebRoot section under the Plugins tab. This WebRoot section gives you information about attention required at the endpoint, agent status information, scan statistics, as well as threat history. 
It also allows important actions to be taken directly from the lab tech console, such as running a scan or causing agents to check in with the console. It will also enable you to exclude installation as well as scans. Thank you for your time today. If you would like further information about WebRoot through LabTech, please reach out to LabTech Software.